Welcome to another video. I'm Dreamcore and this is Path of Exile Explained. In this video we're going to break down the mechanics of how modifiers such as increased, more, reduced and less function and how they interact with each other. The interactions of these modifiers are often confused, especially by new players but once you understand how they work, you'll quickly realize why some modifiers are so valuable and also why some of them are so scarce. First of all, let's take a look at some examples of these modifiers as they appear in game. Adrenaline is a buff that provides some powerful stats, including a 100% increased damage modifier. The Brutality Support Gem is one of many support gems that provides a more damage multiplier. In this instance, it only applies to physical damage. The Slayer Ascendancy has a notable passive skill called Brutal Fervor. This skill provides many powerful stats, including a modifier which grants 10% reduced damage taken while you are leeching. Lastly, Eldritch Battery is a keystone which has a downside that causes you to have 50% less energy shield recharge rate. Okay so how do these modifiers work exactly? Let's take a look. In this example, let's say we have a skill that deals 1000 base damage. If we have a modifier that grants 100% increased damage and we have no other modifiers, we now have a skill that deals 2000 damage. Great! We doubled our damage. But what if we apply another modifier that also increases our damage by 100%? Our skill now deals 3000 damage, so this time the same increase only improved our total damage by 50%. This is because all separate instances of increased damage are added together before the calculation takes place, so in this example, our skill that deals 1000 damage is increased by a total of 200% so that it now deals 3000 damage. For this reason, increased damage is generally considered to be a low value stat when you acquire more and more of it because of the diminishing returns that it provides. Alright, so what about modifiers that provide more damage? Let's use the same example. We have a skill that deals 1000 damage and a modifier that grants 100% more damage. If we have no other modifiers, our skill now deals 2000 damage. Again, our total damage has doubled. But what happens when we introduce another separate modifier that also grants 100% more damage? The calculation for more modifiers work differently to increased modifiers. Instead of adding the modifiers together, all unique instances of more modifiers are multiplied together before the calculation takes place. In this example, we have two separate instances of 100% more damage. When multiplied together and applied with no other modifiers, our skill now deals 4000 damage. Notice that the value increase of applying multiple more modifiers has not diminished like it did with increased modifiers due to the nature of the calculation. For this reason, modifiers that grant more damage are generally much more valuable and as a result, they are a lot rarer than increased damage modifiers. Reductions are calculated at the same part of the equation as increases, and less modifiers are calculated at the same part of the equation as more modifiers. For example, if our skill deals 1000 damage and we have a modifier that grants 100% increased damage and another modifier that grants 50% reduced damage. These modifiers are added together before the calculation takes place. If we have no other modifiers, the skill now deals 1500 damage or a total increase of 50%. Let's use the same example for less modifiers. Our skill deals 1000 damage and we have a modifier that grants 100% more damage and another separate modifier that grants 50% less damage. The modifiers are multiplied together before the calculation takes place and if we have no other modifiers, our skill still deals 1000 damage after the calculation takes place. So what about when increases and reductions are combined with more and less modifiers? Let's take a look. In this example, our skill deals 1000 base damage. We have a modifier that grants 100% increased damage, another modifier that grants 50% increased damage and also a modifier that grants 10% reduced damage. Firstly, 
these modifiers are added together for a total of 140% increased damage. We also have a modifier that grants 30% more damage, another modifier that grants 40% more damage and a debuff that causes us to deal 10% less damage. These modifiers are multiplied together and then the calculation can take place. Our base damage is multiplied by the increase and decrease calculation and then by the more and less calculation to provide the final damage dealt. The calculation of damage dealt and damage taken in Path of Exile follows a number of other rules which I will go into more detail in a future video. But hopefully this video provided some insight into how these modifiers function and how they interact with each other. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please consider clicking the thumbs up button and subscribing for more videos like this one in the future.